good afternoon to all of you students today i am going to teach you the topic is myopathy for final year physiotherapy students myself is dr vishwas and i am to teach you the topic right myopathy now first slide good now first i am going to introduction of myopathy this is hereditary myopathy mostly heterogeneous group of inherited disease mostly in this disease progressive muscular weakness destruction and degeneration of muscle fiber yani primary degenerative disease of mostly involve the skeletal muscle next good myopathy this is the definition simply this is a muscular disease in which muscle fibers do not function for any one of the many reasons resulting in the progressive muscular weakness next good now types first cross link muscular dystrophy the sub type of this lucian muscular dystrophy becker's muscular dystrophy and scapulo humeral muscular dystrophy second type is autosomal recessive muscular dystrophy in sub type is limb girdle muscular dystrophy scapulo humeral muscular dystrophy and congenital muscular dystrophy next third is autosomal dominant muscular dystrophy this is facial scapulo humeral muscular dystrophy distal muscular dystrophy and ocular pharyngeal muscular dystrophy we discuss in later now the common features what are the causes first severe reduction in the muscle fibers second is because of inflammation they include infections muscle injury inherited disease that affects the muscle function and last this is thyroid disease next one pathology this is severe reduction in the muscle fibers because of the any abnormality in the muscle cell structure leads to the various pattern of the weakness and dysfunction pathology involves cardiac muscle fibers means there is hypertrophic or dilated cardiomyopathy in later stage next now the common age group is involved in lucian and becker's because these two myopathies are common so in becker's muscular dystrophy it is less severe and age group is affected to 16 years and for duchenne muscular dystrophy the age group is 3 to 10 years now clinical features of myopathy this is a general terms so first muscular weakness this is mainly present over sign is difficulty to in from sitting to standing mostly proximally involved contracture this is severe pain inflammation is present mostly present in pseudo hypertrophy in calf muscles deformity is present in later stage all deep tendon reflexes are normal diminished or sometimes absent tone slightly decrease or normal and other systems like respiratory cardiac is involved now this is over sign this difficulty for the sitting to be standing for using hand to push on legs to stand this is the stages right next now another clinical feature same hypertrophy of calf muscles early signs for falling there is difficulty in getting up and waddling gait respiratory and cardiac muscles are involved respiratory functions become fatal reduce deep tendon reflexes and all the sensations are normal next continue abnormal gait patterns this waddling gait frequent fall to the patient difficulty in getting up this is over sign to difficulty in stair climbing and mostly lower limbs are more involved than upper limb next continue Another clinical features is lumbar lordosis, contracture, scoliosis, dependence for the all the daily activities like dressing, bathing, toileting, turning the bed. Calf hypertrophy is most common. Muscle weakness and lastly, for the complication is the death. Next, also to see the posture. First, to see the retraction of the shoulder, weak posterior hip muscles, lumbar lordosis, hyperextension of knee. This is weak quadriceps muscle. and quino varus right this is a picture of posture next this is another pictures for posture this is hyper extension lumbar lordosis right involved and kyphor hypertrophy for calf muscle next which muscles are affected most commonly myopathy brachialis latissimus dorsi biceps triceps pectoralis major iliopsoas hip extensors and rectus femoris next hypertrophy is mostly present in calf muscles and in deltoid muscles also involved diaphragm intraocular and facial muscles are in later stage or rarely involved now associated problems with myopathy this is first iq mild mental retardation skeletal deformity and contracture weakness and scoliosis are present 
Now, nutritional problems is well associated with myopathy. This is obesity, malnutrition, pressure sores, and an infection in the lung. Now, also, overall problem is constipation, bladder incontinence, and uncontrolled vomiting and other symptoms. Now, investigations for the laboratory complete blood count, lung function test, erythrocyte sedimentation rate is high in inflammatory reason. CK level, this is another race. Genetical study, this is to see the location, types of the chromosomal abnormality. This is more important is Now, another common features investigation for neurophysiology, this is now conduction study. This is normal because of its muscular involved. And for EMG, see this spontaneous activity in the inflammatory disorders. Now, the assessment for the DMD is particularly for the PT management. So, name, identification for communication, age, sex, occupation, address is important. The floor, distance and mode of transport for the patient, date of examination, referring doctor and provisional diagnosis. This is the uh, demographic data. Next. Now, chief complaint of the patient is difficulty in all the annual activities, difficulty in getting up and waiting gait, falling, running, jumping, ask about the number of stay in hospital, medical history to see the diabetes, blood pressure, cardiac disease and other orthopedic dysfunction. If it is congenital, then to check the natal history. Next. Now, family history, personal history, socio-economical condition of the patient involving the financial problems or other circumstances. Medication history, if patient will take the medication. Investigation, mostly genetically taste. Vital signs, all body temperature, pulse rate, blood blood pressure, respiratory rate are measured during assessment. Next, on observation, same body will be dicto, end to end, mesomorphic. Next. Now to see the posture in standing, sitting and lying, to check in anterior view like symmetry of posture, position of head, shoulder symmetry, pelvis level, knee level and ankle level and to observe the patient if he enter through the door to check the gait and to observe the way he sits in the chair. Next, another view is use of external appliances like any functional aids or catheter, orthotics processes are if use patient to check the gait. Then, duration of walking cycle to check stride length, step length, time of swing. Now, check in the posterior view. So, he will use lateral tilt, rotation of the pelvis, swing of trunk and arm swing. Now, in lateral view, check shoulder for rotation, arm swing, spinal posture, pelvis posture, inflection or extension, knee flexion or extension and ankle dorsal flexion and plantar flexion. These are the to check the posture. Next. Type of respiration to check the breathing pattern like work of the in female and abdominal thoracic in male. Use of accessory muscle so to check involuntary movement if present and to check the atrophic changes like texture, color, presence of scar, wound, or any uh, pressure sore. Next, now limb length, uh, leg length measurement is to an apparent mood and to check the girth measurement because of wasting are present. Now, to check sensory assessment, to check superficial and deep sensation. For superficial, to touch pressure by using touch, to use bottle swear, the response is yes. For pressure, to stimulate the therapist's finger, give the pump pressure, and response is yes. Next. For pain, sharp pointed object is used like a safety pin. And for temperature, to check by using warm water, 40 to 45 degree temperature. And for cold water, this is 5 to 10 degree temperature. Next. Now, for deep sensation, this kinesthetic, no perception, and vibrations to check, same to check the vibration over the sub only points, the grid flow, lateral malleoli, liver diversity, anterior superior relaxed spine, ulna structure process, lateral corticondyl, and necromal process, and clinical, right? Next. Also, to check vertical sensation like two point discrimination, double simultaneous stimulation, tactile localization, stereognosis, diagnosis, graphic section, and retention of texture, so all the same. Next. These are the grading for this uh, picture right next. Now, motor examination check the range of motion, both active and passive range of motion. For muscle tone examination, I check the passive movement of limb, tone is reduced or not. Now, these are the grading for tone next. Now, reflex to check all the bicep triceps in the ankle leg for plantar jerks. Next, these are the grading. Now, grip strength and pitch strength to check by using dynamometer. Also, speech is affected, so to check the speech. Next, for functional using some scale like functional independence measure, partial index, and work balance scale. Now, the most important part is physiotherapy management in myopathy. So, what are the 
main aims was to reduce neuromuscular complication, increase our muscle strength, reduce weakness, prevent deformity, improve nutrition, improve and better control and minimize the development of contracture. Reduce fatigue to educate activity of belly belly, reduce or prevent chest complication, to crawl up the mobility and functions by use of wheelchair, also says, and to check get ready. Oval and cutter management and functional independence and to prevent the pressure sore or wood. Next, now first to minimize contracture, how to minimize contracture by using giving passive stretching for tender healing, serious sores, coordinate steps, and hamstring. Stretch tight muscles to so position is maintained by 30 seconds. Carefully to observe every day with photo exercise. Warm bath if pain is present. Positioning, frequent positioning change because to prevent the uh, pressure source. Then for extra fun singing and storytelling, this is more important. Always form surface such as mat should be used for the exercise. And the stretching will be used, should be done as soon as diagnosed. Next, second is to educate proper positioning and sitting by using postural correction for to prevent spine and joint problem and postural correction. Second sitting, it is important to minimize deformity, good supportive seat, walking for to improve trunk control and posture. For pelvic girdle, for neutral position without anterior or posterior pelvic and straight position. Okay, next, also good support is seen like proper and correct support for the whole body, chair should be whole body, parts, foot raise should be proper height and neck of seat should proper support the whole thigh. Next, now the second uh, PT management is to educate proper positioning and sitting. That is more important because of to correct the posture, so for to prevent spine and joint problem and for postural correction. For sitting is comfortably to minimize the deformity, good supportive seat. For walking, which is important for improved trunk control and posture, pelvic girdle for the neutral positions without anterior or posterior pelvic tilt. Next, good supportive seat, this is proper and correct support for giving the whole body, chair should whole body parts. Foot raise should be proper you know, height and length of seat should support the all the thigh in comfortable positions. Now third is exercise. So first endurance exercise like first exercise in sitting. This is knee extension is giving resisted or using sandbag. No trick movement during the knee extension. Second exercise in sideline position. This is hip abductor and extensors. Two 10 time is 10 to 15 minutes and then hold. Next, third exercise in prone line position, this is hip extensor, shoulder extensor, neck and spine extensor, shoulder stabilization of scapula, fourth spine and neck extensors like in prone position and to lift his head off in this position. Then another exercise is strengthening exercise for using PNF techniques and using manual strengthening exercise. Now fourth PT management is chest physiotherapy. If muscles are weak like respiratory, so use of accessory muscles in giving breathing exercise. So now first, base of lung, some techniques are used for exercise like postural drainage. This is gravity helps to drain by different position. Second is breathing exercise in increased air entry, diaphragmatic and segmental breathing exercise for lateral coastal expansion, posterior basal expansion, apical expansion, FET and assisted coughing are used. Next, fifth is optimizing functional capacity for to accessibility to room and increase fatigue so giving rest interval during training. Next, six is orthosis, external appliances are used for to resist and assist movement for transfer load from one part to another that's why use external appliances. Night splinting are used for to prevent contracture Necessary for ankle, split should be fit properly, comfortable and slight weight. Choice depend on the severity of deformity and serial casting by using increasing the range of motion. Another is facilitating a sleep, it is very important, that's why using air mattresses and good environment. Now it is gait training, first if muscle are weak, then using parallel bar activities, then obstacle walking and last is posture and end gait training independently. Now family support for counselling of the patient and his relatives is another important point and some doing recreational activities like swimming, riding and photography. So 
these are the uh, pt management of myopathy thank you